Oh. They also like almost always miss, my bad. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, no one uses Stone Edge for the crit chance. They just use it because, oh, look at all that damage. Because the crit chance numbers. <laughs> I mean, crit chance doesn't do that much, though. It changes 1 in 24 to 1 in, like, 8. Okay. It's not bad, I guess, but still. It's pretty good. It's all right. It's, it's pretty good. It's all right. It's pretty good. I need to get competitive Pokemon one day when I actually like, sit down and learn what is going on. But I've actually been working on making a lot of competitive Pokemon because it's so accessible in Scarlet Violet. It is. It's super, it's super accessible. Sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that word. It's super specific. Sorry. I was trying to Speaking of, I have to finish that game. I never well, finished it. It's such a good... Ooh, don't finish it. The story's so fun. I never finished Joker. Leave me alone. Okay, now let's start with Dill. Dill versus Lara. <laughs> let's go. Dill versus Lara start. Lara start. Lure. The lure. I hate taking the lure. Sorry. Lara start versus Dill on, of course, Smashville. A very, very interesting pick. I think it's just kind of just like a, a, a good stage for both characters all around. I know Dill does pretty much prefer, like... The, the bigger stages likes to go on that small battle as well, but oh, we long ray, long ray laser. It's okay, it happens. Happens to the best of us. Go there into the forward air. What can we see? Some patience, some short hopping as well. Into the forward throw, charging up Gyro. Gyro gonna interrupt that uh, that forward air from or uh, that nair from the Lare start. Ooh, and that quick neutral air, popping out, keeping LRA safe from that raw back air. Now LRA is the one in the driver's seat, but getting caught by that Gyro. And now we're gonna see the mini game gets caught by the up tilt. And eventually the up air, but too close to the ground to find the kill. And LRA just barely not going to be surviving that fully charged laser. That looked so cool, though. Yeah, it, it looked really cool. <laughs> I was like, yo, wait, catching the wolf flash with that was, the That was some DBZ laser. stuff right there. Yeah, I agree. It was like when, when you know, I watched you and LRA and you headered him in the middle of that, and I was like, okay. <laughs> header is always awesome. I don't want to hear it. I'm not saying anything about Header. It was cool to see that you actually like aimed it really well. It's like a build it right there. <laughs> LRA had the reflector out for the gyro, but dropped it for the laser, unfortunately. Happens now, to all of us. <laughs> Dill is really starting to run away with things. Already looking to lap LRA in percent and almost getting the second stock. Good DI on that up air. So something I do want to say about reflector against gyro just sitting there. What's up? Normally, when you do that, it's a good thing to do. You, you reflect it, then it stays on the ground, and it's your stage control for a little bit. Not too shabby. For some reason, when Wolf does it, he decreases its lifespan by a lot. So he can't do the strategy like everyone else can for some reason. That's horrible. This and I don't know why. I think it's because it activates a... When Wolf reflects things, he activates a hitbox. Ah. And I think hitting the gyro is what causes it to... Uh, become less alive. It's interesting. To die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at that point, I think you should just pick it up. Yeah. Watch John's video on how to pick up Gyro from Rob. <laughs> anyway, on YouTube.com. But yeah, if you have a reflector that isn't Wolf's, uh, just reflect the Gyro sitting there. Becomes and then your it becomes yours. Control. Exactly. You don't even have to pick it up. Just leave it there. We won't pick it up. Do check out John Number's video on YouTube.com. <laughs> so regardless, <laughs> so regardless, Lara starts finally getting a, f a first talk off of Dill, and Dill getting a trying to get a cheeky side rotor, or side rotor, arm rotor off stage right there. But LRA's are way more, way more aware to avoid that situation, able to get back, back on stage and rack up a nice 73% on Dill, able to get a nice game percentage as well. All that, oh, okay. Yep, getting those grounded gyro combos going, and already 91% on LRA's start. Dill is gonna be looking for a kill confirm pretty soon. Don't want to deal with a wolf with rage. All right, neutral air setting up another potential ledge trap, but the aggressive wolf flash. I love the I love LRA's aggressive recoveries thus far. I mean, you know, like we were saying, wolf's recovery not the most flexible, but when you have like these little these little nuances, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> really, you're, fine. <laughs> you're not fine. Not fine. No. Okay. I, I have my breath because I was like, the instant she dies, she's gonna come off the angel platform and immediately arm rotor. her. And yeah. I didn't say because you were, of course, you were speaking that's so eloquently, and I didn't want to interrupt you. I mean, that's but just we've been the, through this. That that's just the Dill classic, you know. Of course, run off. I'm gonna arm rotor. her. I'm, yeah. I'm, it's not gonna kill because you have good DI. Good for you. And then I'm just going to uh, uh, down smash because this was Boom. so cool. Bro, this is DBZ. This is actually so Look cool. At that. Yeah, before the hit, that looks so cool. That could be an album. That could be a CD cover. It's a CD Bro, cover. <laughs> he says CD cover. Bro, that's that's Goku firing the the Kamehameha at Frieza. The you moron! You moron! All right, LA pick kind of picking. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't jump y'all. <laughs> LA picking kind of picking over to a uh, just regular battlefield with triplat situation, but. 
again, I think Rob does do relatively well on the stage because we can just kind of use that top platform I can just all do right there. Just kind of hang out, it would restart our gas, it would come to the stage relatively safely, and LSR has to kind of stay on the ground, has to stay relatively more uh, grounded. Because of the, of the, of the quote-unquote spaces, Wolf does not like being in the air as much as uh, Fox and Falco, right? So it's like, the three plats are good in theory, but I think it benefits Rob a little bit more. Yeah, we, I mean, we are already are seeing LRA getting some, like, really good damage off of these, like, up air juggle situations mm -hmm. on the triplats. But, like you were saying, I really feel like this stage gives Rob so much value. I mean, just the, the platforms on the side offering a lot of coverage, the top platform offering a lot of safety for Dill, as we're going to be seeing right here. And even if she doesn't go to it, the fact that it is a threat that LRA now has to worry about in the ledge trapping scenario, which usually Wolf is so good at with the F tilts and the down smashes, but if... Out of fuel. <gasps> True. But there we go. Finally, the dash attack coming through, uh, you know, with no fuel to make it to that top platform. Finally, Dill is going to be falling to that dash attack. Yeah, but look what we can see the platforms right here. You saw that, that uh, upper off the top, pla off, off the middle plat right there. And stuffing up the back here was going to be the, li is, is the life here for LRA to keep the third, the, these three socks pretty much uh, untouched. And missing the upper excellent air dodge from the LRA star. Now, what can we see here? We see a, U a new LRA, honestly. I love the use of the arrows on the on those platforms, showing us, you know, why I'm completely wrong and why LRA star Ooh. does want to on, on Battlefield. Reflector coming out on the laser. Dill kind of, you know, nodding her head a little bit like, yeah, you got me. Ooh, all right, and another reflector coming through, and yeah, LRA is really starting to play around this um, these Dill recoveries, going to the top platform, Dill getting a little bit too complacent. You know, you've got all that fuel in the tank, you don't have to use it all. You can be fuel efficient. Save energy. Right, it's save fuel energy. efficient, Rob. <laughs> Impossible. Bro runs on uh, fossil fuels. Okay, nice Nair gang. Uh, others are off of you for a little what bit was there. That? Oh, the gyro into the downward firewolf. That that was creativity right there. All right, but gyro's gone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted. Like just evaporated. I, Hello. Down tilt. See a lot of down tilt's going on here. Okay, excellent back throw into another gyro trying to set up. Trying to get pressure on the shield with the back. You see how low that shield is. That bait out jump out gang into the air air, do uh, air dodge. Air, uh, up air. Yeah. LRA making it back into center stage. Going to be able to catch his breath here after a flurry of blows from Dill. Basically unanswered. 96%. Finally, though, getting a little bit of a laser damage, and the huge body of Rob going to be getting caught by that back air. Only the uh, sour spot. And now we're going to see another one of these like high recoveries from Dill. She is able to make it back down onto the stage as Ellery stubbed his toe on the gyro. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, not able to make another use one. of it. It bounced off of the, uh, the ledge there. And unfortunately, even with all of the creative recoveries in the world there, that Firewolf is going to be easy pickings for the down smash. And Dill bringing us back into even stocks. Gyro potentially in hand soon. It did despawn from the top platform. Maybe going to be seeing one of these early kills from Dill. I love that Dill's, again, playing a little more stationary on the ground. Not more stationary, but more grounded as well. Because she's the one who really wants to do these platforms that LRA has been using very, very well. Love the falling near recover safely. At center stage, gaining the dire gyro on the center stage as well. Missing the back air, but look how low that shoot is. Gotta be really careful here. LSR has pull it back a little bit, although we do have Whoa. Dill at 151%. And that is pretty much back air territory. That's any down smash or any smash like territory. Dill has brought this back. Uh -oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. Aegis Reflector coming no. through. No way no. that kills. <laughs> okay, from center stage, LRA <gasps> is gonna be living. <gasps> But the last hit of the armor still living. And the high wolf flash, LRA had to recover high Stop. there. Stop. Oh, the F tilt getting LRA some space after two near death experiences. Life flashing before our eyes right now. Two of them is crazy, too. That had me hat in a chokehold. I know LRA started to oh! see there's the wolf flash. Yes. Just like oh! that. Yep. yep, yep. Dill got hit in real life. She's, She's gone. laughing. She's laughing. <laughs> She's like, dang, I should have known better. You've been doing that all day. <laughs> That's uh, the I other game. Some replays. What the heck? It's okay. It's not okay. Okay. Devin's gonna yell at me. <laughs> Devin, we can't be mad. To, we can't be mean to numbers. Remember? Remember what happened to Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> we can't let that happen again. We're gonna get banned on Twitch. Like, 
<laughs> if that ever happens, I, I don't know what to do. Well, well it's not my see, problem, to be fair, but <laughs> see on YouTube, on YouTube stream. <laughs> Zeno293 on Mixer. She got hit, hit in real life. She really fell back. She, <laughs> she was as flabbergasted as we are. She got, like, <laughs> it's like an Ace Attorney villain getting knocked back. All right, but let's see. We are going to be moving on to, I believe, Smashville for game three. But, uh, ju judging based on yes. our bands. Yep, Dill going to be coming right back into where she won at game one. Oh, okay. I'm all reset now. All right, back to the game at hand. Smashville, here we go. Already Dill almost taking a game two. Had a really nice double fake out kill, but... Other side, taking it back us to a nice game three here over here at Xeno 292, which is so crazy. We're only 80 from 300. It'd be there or be square. So, other start having to go back to the stage that he did previously previously lose to Dill, taking it pretty much over uh, pretty, over him relatively, you know, convincingly in my opinion. But now you see a whole new other start where he's now being a little more patient, having to uh, really respect on the stage, right? Mm -hmm. You don't see him being as, as aggressive as before. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe Respect was the name of the game in Game 2. LRA really kind of held things back, able to, you know, make his way through the sort of poke game plan that Dill usually likes to employ. And, all right. Oh, no. Bye. Unfortunately, the Firewolf not going to be able to make it. Had to get a little bit creative there. Dill was ready to cover the Wolf Flash there with the down air. And, unfortunately, just not able to make it. And that is Dill with a pretty healthy stock lead right now. Only 90%, but LRA with Gyro in hand and a little bit of charge on sour? that down smash as well. I think so, yeah. That move has a sour spot? I, I think so. It looked like it. Really weak sour spot. Yeah. That was he, back hit. He charged half, it up and everything. Back hit, half charge, because back hits of those sweeping down smashes are usually stronger, too. And they were sort of Ooh. close to the ledge. Empty movement coming out from Dill with the beer reverse uh, Gyro charge. All right, nice. Back hit to kind of clear it out and immediately Dill now... New stock, new percentage, and LSR is not letting up whatsoever, not letting her breathe for a second as we get a nice clean 35% on the board. Now what can we see here? Gyro is going to be taking out Leathery Star's recovery, not recovery, um, his entrance into the situation. Nice to use the nice shine the reflector in order to make sure Dill does not throw that Gyro, and that allows for these up air juggles that LRA Star just has gotten just from flashing reflector for a little bit. Yeah, and now we're kind of starting to see the double-edged sword of the sort of respected game plan that we were seeing in game two. Smashville, a much closer, much more like intimate stage. And if you're scared of the Rob holding Gyro, you know, how do you get in? You're stuck at these like outer ledges. You're stuck at the top of the platform. You're stuck at the ledges. And I mean, if you're sent like one wrong move, you're Wolf off stage with like all of your recovery options. That being said, though, Firewolf getting through that arm rotor that time and now putting Dill up top. But another one of these neutral airs catching LRA getting just a little bit too aggressive on these uh, chases. Absolutely. You get to see the up air connect as well and get that second stock out of the way. But thankfully, LRA start understanding Dill doesn't come in. It's going to land at some point. I can catch her with the up smash and boom, that's going to be the two stocks gone, dusted. Now we have an even game right here. Last stock situation, and honestly, last game, but not quite last hit. But the way that game two went, I would not be surprised if we do go to last hit situation against Dill and LRA Star as LRA. Starts to get this really nice combo going on the edge, on the platform as well. The pressure is on. The nice. reactions coming out from LRA. Dill shaking her head. That's a lot of unnecessary damage to be taken for just trying to poke out in neutral. Now 84%, the percentages are climbing for Dill. LRA looking for, looking to catch another one of those high recoveries. Gets hit for his troubles and also getting hit for picking up that gyro. Almost getting a sick confirm off of the down thrown gyro. Uh, yeah, absolutely see. not. Look at the pressure right here. Trying to get the front read off of the roll, but instead Dill, why is it going for an aerial? Now here's a connecting up air that could have been the game, but thankfully not yet. Getting the will flash into the gyro, getting the setup and no tech. Not that's it. Like yeah. that. No. Not the missed tech. As soon as he got hit by it, it's like that's Wolf. Not like this. Wolf's not making it back. Yeah, exactly. The instant I saw the missed tech, I was like, yeah, this is Jover for you. Like, yeah. guys, Jover. It is Jover for you. All right. On the other side of things, though. Great stuff to LRA start for even bringing it back uh, relatively even to right, literally that last stock, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
Honestly, I don't have one on previously. I can, I can imagine Absolutely. it was like, dang, she going back to the stage I, I just lost on? She's going to do better. <laughs> and, they, and he definitely did do way better um, in his last game. But man, just just a missed tag. Weighing, being a little bit too patient on the ledge and allowing Dota to get that little that little cheeky kill right there was, yeah, was and game. Really, we just kind of saw the kind of glass cannon nature of Wolf so strong in advantage. But as soon as LRA was put in a like a bad position, he was forced to make all of these risky plays like the high wolf flash or waiting a little bit too long on the ledge, kind of an analysis paralysis sort of situation. You know, you've got Rob waiting at roll distance. You've got the gyro at neutral getup or or covering jump. Yep. And it's just like at that point, what do you do? And LRA took a little bit too long to figure it out. So the thing is, a good thing to do against Rob's gyro is you should wait on ledge to see what Rob wants to do afterwards. Yep. It's like, oh yeah, I'm going to read your follow-up option. But you have to pay attention to if Rob puts it too close to the ledge yeah. because yeah. then that happens. Or you could just wait for it to hit you in tech, but that's dangerously scary. Especially because of how high the percentage was for LRA Stark. You know, yeah. Because yeah. you know how if you're lower, it's like, okay, you miss attack. You get like fine. a tiny little bit he of He might not have been aware of that situation either, though. Mm -hmm. he yeah. Might, he might have been like, that's not going to hit me. He might have been Gets very it. lenient on like the iframes, but again, yeah. the higher you are, less I mean, like, you have. Like a lot of things. Yeah. When you have that sort of last hit situation and you've got like so many things to look at, you're not really able to pull out the magnifying glass and be like, is that going to hit me? Is that, gonna, is that on the ledge or is that like two inches away from the ledge? I don't know. I don't know. 